I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 barrel racing tips for beginners. You are not going to want to miss out on this. As a professional barrel racer, I've been in your shoes. I know what it's like. So don't miss out. Keep watching. My name is Brianna, I'm a professional barrel racer and I take you guys along, show you what it's like to rodeo professionally as well as help you guys get to that point as well. So if you guys are not ready, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. That enables me to bring the best value I possibly can give you guys as far as my content goes. So like I said, I'm going to give you guys my top 10 barrel racing tips today. I would stay till the end because I have one extra tip. If you guys stay all the way till the end, then I'm going to throw in there to help you guys get to the point that you want to get to in your barrel racing game. The first tip is body positioning. Now, I want you guys to focus on this so much more than you possibly have ever thought you need to focus on this. Now, if you guys have not seen already, click this video right here. This is going to tell you guys about body positioning and barrel racing and what is needed to happen through a barrel pattern to get you guys to the prettiest, most fast run you've ever made in your lifetime. Now, this is something that people don't usually think about a whole lot, but if you can get your body positioning down when you're very first learning, you're going to be able to get on any horse you possibly want and make the most beautiful run you've ever made in your whole lifetime. So now this is something that people do not think about. They think, oh, we're just jockeys. We're going to get on. We're going to go make a beautiful run. It's not going to matter. No, you have to know how to train. You have to know how to ride. You have to know how to use your body positioning to your advantage when you're running barrel horses. Same thing with jockeys. If they threw off their body positioning, not win the race. So you have to have really, really, really good body positioning if you want to win any kind of anything in your whole career. If you don't believe me, go look at the people who run in the NFR. Go look at anyone who runs in a rodeo. If they win, their body positioning is prime. So you have to get that down. That's something you really, really, really have to focus on when you're first learning how to ride. Okay, tip number two that I have for you guys that are just beginning to learn how to barrel race is do not compare yourself ever. Did you hear that? Ever. Don't ever compare yourself. That is such a trap to fall into. Like I said, if you've ever heard the quote, comparison is a thief of joy, it is so true. If you compare yourself at a race, you are literally making yourself lose before you already freaking ran your race. So remember, when you get to a race, do not compare your first run you've ever made in your lifetime or your 10th or your 20th to someone who's been doing it their whole life. That is like somebody who's five years old comparing themselves to me running barrels. Obviously, they may not be the same level as I am. Who cares? Do not compare yourself. If you compare yourself, you're already losing the race before you've ever won. Now, just ask me. This is something that I did when I was little is I would get to the race and I would look at these girls and I'd be like, holy crap, wow, she can ride. Look at that horse. That's literally what I did. I basically made it so I lost the race before I even ran. Do not do this. This is a huge trap to fall into. Trust me, just don't compare yourself. Stay focused on you and what you're doing and you're going to get super successful really fast. You guys have got this. I know you do. But tip number three is visualize. Now this is something that people don't think about, but if you can visualize the run, you're going to be so much more ahead of somebody versus somebody who doesn't visualize. So basically visualizing is a way that you can make a run without your brain even knowing that was an actual run and you get so many more runs ahead of somebody else. Now hopefully this makes sense, but basically your brain has no idea. If you visualize something or if you go make a run, your brain has no idea if that actually happened or not. You can really trick yourself, trick your brain into thinking that I just made a beautiful run. And when you go make that run, your body's already going to know exactly what to do and you make that run. So if you can visualize a perfect run for, you know, 30 minutes every day, you're going to basically have 30 runs or, you know, however many runs you can do within that 30 minutes ahead of somebody else. Kind of get the picture, but this is something that if you're working on something, like sometimes I forget to put my hands down low around a barrel or I forget to do something else. If I go back to visualizing, boom, I solve it. I get to the run. I make a beautiful clean run doing the thing that I practiced doing because I didn't have to get on my horse 50 times and make 50 runs with my horse. That is not a good thing to do. Don't do it. So visualize, use that to your extent. Tip number four is take care of your horse like they are an athlete. Now, this is something that I wish I would have, not like I didn't not take care of my horse, 
but I didn't take care of them as good as I possibly could have when I was first learning how to ride. So treat these horses like they're athletes because they are. You know, the simple things like making sure that they have clean, clean, clean water or making sure they have a hay bag, making sure they have a blanket on in the winter or shelter or a fly mask, just different things like that is going to add up and it's going to help you so, so, so much in the end. If you take care of these horses, they're going to take care of you. Simple as that. Done. Tip number five is get a mentor or a trainer. Now, this has got to be someone who knows what they're doing like me. Let me be that person for you guys. Get someone who knows what they're doing, who you can send your runs to. If you guys have not seen that video already, you can click that. That's all about run reviews that I do. But get someone that knows what they're doing, who you can send your runs to, and they can help you with whatever you possibly need help with. This is something that I did when I was first learning. And oh my goodness, it helps so much. I would send my run to the her and she'd be like, oh yeah, do this and this and this. And I'd go fix it with visualization and boom, solved. Tip number six is get a horse that knows what they're doing. Now, do not think you're going to train your freaking horse while you're training yourself how to run barrels. That is just a disaster. And making think the heavens that I had a really, really good horse when I was first learning and she taught me a ton. So if you can, get a horse that knows what they're doing, learn from them. That's going to help you so, so, so much in the long run. I'm laughing, my horse is running through here. He's like, what is that? It's raining, so they're all freaking out. But do that. Get a horse that knows how to do it, and you'll be set. Okay, tip number seven is learn as much as you possibly can learn all the time. Look at websites, go to clinics, ask people questions. Those people that run at the barrel races that are winning or consistently run a million horses and they win, they're doing really, really well, ask them questions. Ask me questions. We've all been there. Ask the people who know what they're doing. Be just kind of a sponge to anything you can possibly learn. And you're going to be a lot more ahead of the game than someone who does not dare to ask for help. So ask for help. We love it if you come up to us after the race and say, hey, like, I saw you made a great run. Could you show me, you know, some tips or tricks? People are going to love you to death. They're going to be like, yeah, sure. We'd love to help you. I've never had someone be like, I don't want to help you. They're always really, really cool to be like, yeah, sure, I'll help you. So do it. Tip number eight is the supplement train. Now, this is something that I think we've all fallen into, but when you're first learning to run, I know you see a lot of videos about a lot of girls saying, this is what I do, I feed these supplements, blah, blah, blah. Be really careful about that. Now, I definitely feed supplements as well, only if my horses need them. Go talk to somebody like Smart Pack or Purina, somebody who knows who they're t what they're talking about. Call them. My favorite is Smart Pack. You call them. You got questions, they'll answer them. They'll give you the exact thing that you need or they'll tell you you don't need anything, you're totally good. So be really, really careful about that because that's something that you can get kind of trapped into and your horse might not perform as good as they possibly could if you mess it up. So be really careful about that. Um, talk to someone who knows what they're talking about. Be super careful about that. Tip number nine is go slow, learn the basics. So when you're barrel racing, sometimes I know that I teach a lot of people who want to just get on and want to just run barrels. They're like, you know what, I'll figure it out. But that is not going to happen. You need to go slow. You need to figure out the basics. You need to figure out where your horse needs to be out during the run. If you can't do it at a walk, how are you going to do it at a run or a lope or a sprint? You're not going to be able to do it. You got to do it from the very slowest point. Learn from there and then move on. Keep going. That's going to help you and you're gonna get way more ahead so you didn't skip any basics. Tip number 10, stay till the end. We have one more after this if you stay to the very end. But tip number 10 is do not run the freaking barrels 50 times. Yes, I get that you're learning how to run barrels, but your horse knows what they're doing. Do not run barrels 50 times. Y'all get that? Okay, don't do it. So basically, there's so many other ways that you can learn how to ride. For example, no stirrups. You can get on your horse and go bareback. You can learn how to do rollbacks against the fence. There are so many things that you can do without having to run your horse 50 times around the barrels. Just don't do it. You're going to wear your horse out. You're going to wear yourself out. Learn how to run barrels the slow way. Now, it's okay to walk your horse around the barrels, you know, 10 times or something while you're trying to just get your body positioning down. That's completely okay. What I'm saying is do not run your horse around the barrels 50 times every single day. Oh my gosh, the poor horses probably will hate you. So <laughs> just make sure that you don't run it 50 times. You're only making one run maybe per week. Be really, really careful about that. There's so many other ways that you can learn how to barrel race besides running barrels. And you can also use visualization. 
plug for that, you definitely can use that too. Okay, last tip, because you guys stay till the end, is do not be hard on yourself. Holy cow, you're learning how to do something new. You're not gonna be perfect at it. The more fun you have, the more excitement that you just set goals and accomplish them, you're gonna do so much better than you would have if you're being super hard on yourself. So just be really easy on yourself. Know that you're learning something, just have fun at it. If you have fun, you're gonna be super successful at it. Just have fun, trust me. Just do it to be, you know, have fun. Last tip that I got for you guys with that, just do it to have fun. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, click that. What's it called, pop tag? Yes, pop tag. Click the pop tag up there. That's my top five embarrassing tips just for someone who's after the beginner stage and they're ready to kind of move on. That has a lot of knowledge in there. So click that video, that's gonna help you guys a lot. And if you guys are not already, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss on anything I post because I'm always bringing value back to you guys. Do not miss it. Click the subscribe button. Give me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like it. Tell me what I can do better and I'll see you in that next video.